Hello PhotoTuts. We're going to be looking today at a tutorial by Martin Lawrence. It's entitled Guide to Creating a Stylish Pen and Ink Drawing with a Watercolor Wash. So we're going to look at how to take an image and a photo and use some of Adobe Photoshop's filters to give it kind of an artistic -y, painty feel to it. It's, uh, it's a nice and simple way to try something a little neat with your photographs. So the first thing we do, we've opened up our image here and this one provided from the tutorial. I want to change our background layer here in the levels, in the layers rather, uh, from background to, we'll call it watercolor. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now, according to Martin, uh, the image should be at least 1200 by 1600 pixels in size and have a dots per inch of about 150. Uh, apparently that works the best for the end result uh, if you're working with that type of pixel range uh, to get the look you're going for. So what we're going to do is we're going to check this image and see how it does. So we'll go into image and image size. So here we have the size is good, but our resolution is 300 uh, pixels per inch. So we're going to change that to 150 pixels per inch. It's going to reduce the overall size of the picture as well, make it a little smaller. So we're going to just zoom in there so we can see that a little bit better. So next step we want to do is make a couple, uh, make another layer here. We're going to have one layer called watercolor and one layer uh, called drawing. So let's just right click and choose duplicate layer. And we're going to name this one as drawing, spelled correctly though. All right, so let's just uh, hide that layer by clicking on the eye there and, and going back to our watercolor layer. So this is the layer that we're going to provide the watercolor or the painty wash technique to. And we do that by going up here into the filters, into the artistic filters, and into the dry wash, or the dry brush filter rather. Uh, apparently this works better for the watercolor rather than the watercolor filter according to Martin. So the settings we want to use here in the dry brush filter is a brush size of about, oops, click on dry brush, make sure it's clicked to that, dry brush size of about six, and the brush detail of about two, and then a texture of one. So this is kind of what the uh, the end result is going to look like already. We're seeing kind of the paint-like uh, texture coming into the photograph. So let's hit OK, and I will apply that filter to the watercolor layer. Next step is we want to make it a little bit uh, more soft, so it has more of a painting feel to it by using the Smart Blur filter. So again, back up into filters. This time we want to go into the Blur filter and then into the Smart Blur filter. Now. This setting here is not what we want to use. We want to use this set to normal. Now the radius set is at 10. So you want to type that in there. And the threshold uh, is at 10 as well. Setting to high and mode to normal. So although you can't really see it very well in the small preview window, we're just going to be blurring the, the this layer a little bit further uh, than the way it is already. So let's hit OK. It'll apply this filter over time. Just wait for that to finish. Good, so now we have the smart blur uh, filter applied to the image as well. So that's pretty much it for the watercolor filter, but we're going to uh, add that uh, ink drawing style to that next. So what we're going to do is go into our drawing filter uh, or our drawing layer and click that as active and make that visible. Actually, even before we do that, one of the steps is mentioned if you want to uh, change around your brightness levels uh, to this to to give it a little more stand out and that's what uh, uh, Martin did in the tutorial here uh, you can go into your image uh, and into your adjustments and your brightness and contrast and he put it up to about 10 just to give it a little bit more punch as you see when we enter it here it's gonna it brightens it up uh, just a little bit more so let's go back now to the drawing side so here we're going to use a different filter. First of all, we're going to desaturate the image and that is an image adjustments and desaturate down here at the bottom. That's going to turn it into a, a grayscale. That's our first step. Now after that, we're going to use the same filter, the blur filter and the smart blur. But instead of uh, mode normal, we're going to change it to edge only. And that's going to just work on our edges here of the picture. And we're going to adjust uh, the radius from 10 to 20 and we're also going to adjust the threshold pretty high to about 75 so 
if you look in the, the uh, preview here, it's really almost vectorizing it in some way, just really defining and working on the edges only. So we'll hit OK. We'll let it apply the smart filter here. Let it finish up. There we are. Now we have that sort of inky feel to it. But what we're going to do from here is we're going to take this and invert it. So we're going to make the whites black and the blacks white. So that's in the image, adjustments, and down to invert. So now we have kind of our inky uh, feel to it, sort of a, an outline feel to the edges of the photograph. Now we're going to combine these two layers together or we're going to apply them uh, together. We're going to change our drawing the layer from in the blending options there. If we just click below and choose blending options, and we want to change the blend mode from normal, we're going to change that to multiply. So let's go do that. Where are you? Multiply right there at the top there. And that's going to bring in that uh, sort of outline feel to it. So there we are. Opacity is set to 100%. So this kind of uh, plays through this one drawing layer onto the watercolor layer. You can now select both of these layers if you want. Right click and flatten the image. So now you have one image like that. So that's the effect. If you want to learn how to add a little mat uh, to it uh, by playing around with the canvas size. You can do that. The tutorial will continue on there with the Martin showing you how to add some matte uh, finishing to around the edges. So there you are, a guide to creating a stylish pen and ink drawing with a watercolor wash.